Sigmata, Sigmata, Sigmata. I would say I hate Sigmata for being a lazy game focused entirely on a cash grab of capitalizing off of American events by letting players take the role of American insurgents in a super-powered fantasy in a pseudo-1980s alternate history America, which sounds like a lot of buzzwords, which by itself is pretty stupid. But I digress. It's about bashing the fash in a variety of over-the-top ways, but I don't hate it because of that. I hate it because it lies to you. I present to you the entire game. Yes, it's bars. Well, the core game, not the second edition of the game, which is the expansion of the game, which also requires a base game to play, even though it guts most of the systems from the base game, but also it doesn't. Don't think about it too hard. The game is about bars. Filling bars, reducing bars, adding bars, removing bars, getting a bar to go higher, or making a bar go away. 95% of all actions and powers in the game simply either add or remove part of a bar. And that's it. The largest sin that Sigmata commits is that it can't really decide what it wants to be. It can be a mechanical insurgency in simulator, as it has quite a few rules detailing the various forces that the Freedom Fist can throw at you, as well as the various implications of running an insurgency. It can also be a narrative superhero system, as the powers are incredibly open for interpretation and feeling, ranging from things such as arm blades, being able to transport yourself through electrical wires, or being able to communicate vast distances using telekinetic mind powers, but also technology, don't think about it. But it can also be some bizarre coin system about managing an insurgency and counterinsurgency, with all of the problems that go along with it. However, it doesn't really do any of those to a meaningful degree, which creates a muddled system about being superheroes, but your superheroes feel less super and more abacus enthusiasts. Now, I won't be entirely critical. There are some interesting ideas spread throughout the book. I enjoy some of the bits about the Freedom Fist's lore. I, the resistance systems are, well, still bars, but they are fun bars. There are parts I enjoy in this game. Each part, individually, is interesting, but yet they are not separate. Taken as a whole, Sigmata is somewhat of a monstrous abomination of different parts of poorly stapled together, with a writer who seems to hold you in contempt and expect you to buy his propaganda in the book at complete face value. However, stripping away all the lore and the politics and everything else, you end up with a game that lies you about what it is, and then ask you to buy a second edition slash source book to fix the problems of the game, but doesn't really address the core issues because of it's so baked into it, such as it being entirely about bars. Play the Play the original for anemic characters with no personalities and abilities that make bars go up and down. Play the next version, second edition source book. Play slightly less skeletal characters with no personality and abilities that make bars go up or down. We'll play neither, because ultimately Sigmata isn't a game to be played. It's to tell us what Chad Walker is thinking about and his philosophy on things. As a side note, Chad has failed all of the Kickstarter stretch goals except the Sigmata FM and the Repeat to Signal book, but the Repeat to Signal book was supposed to contain everything and create your own, such as creating your own setting. It has none of that outside his whinging about his original book's failures, but did make airlock in bombs and bala fucking clavas with the money. Oh god. My name is Nopat Anon, and this was Sigmata. This bar raises slightly. Thank you.